Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. How are you? We just came through um, Christmas. It's uh, after Christmas. And I just wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, we just got off a uh, thoughts video on this Makita impact driver. This is the XDT 14. I absolutely love it. Lightweight, super powerful, super balanced. Uh, it's a tool that I want to pick up and use all the time. It is a wonderful tool. Uh, I had a chance to use all of the features. I had a chance to use high speed, low speed, middle speed, the torque thing, whatever it was. Uh, and I really do love this tool. We used it up against the Milwaukee uh, 12 volt. And I, the reason why I did that video is it wasn't to figure out whether this tool was more powerful than the M12. It wasn't that at all. It was about what tool I wanted to pick up and use all day long. And for this, it's the Makita. And what people didn't understand about that video, and, and I don't think I explained it um, well enough, was grip angle. So if you sit this flat, okay, this line here, it's flat. So when you go to put your hand in, it has a flat grip to it. Okay? This is more ergonomically pleasing to me. Now, if you look at the at the Milwaukee, the grip angle is much higher. I don't know. Let me hang on just for half a second. Okay. This is the M12. Okay? Do you see the grip angle if I hold this flat? See this how this has a rise to it where your hand naturally wants to go to make it straight. Well, when it does, it causes that not to feel not to feel ergonomically correct in the hand. Okay, these are both flat. Okay, if I hold that one flat, you can see the difference. See how this has a flare? Okay. The second thing was is the handle. I don't like the handle. The battery fits up in there. Um, this just happens to be a 4.0 battery that I like that it sits flat. I don't like the little, the little, I like to stand my drill up. So, so we just came off of that ergos and all that kind of fun stuff. So I love this. And I wanted to uh, show you a couple of things that I got for Christmas. And I was amazed at just... The generosity of people that I know, my wife and kids and family and my secret Santa. And um, we'll talk about this in another video later. This is the drill. This is the full-size drill that came with this, that came with this uh, driver. But as much as I love that full-size stuff, I was gifted Makita Subcompact. Okay, these are little black tools, and um, if you do um, look around on on the on the net and all that kind of stuff on YouTube, you'll see people talk about these things. Super duper light, 18 volt packs. You know, this just these just happen to be two amp hour packs. But if you want. This is off the full size, okay? That's a 5 amp hour pack. Okay, that's on there. This just happens to be on low speed. Okay, you can use that. I don't have to buy another battery pack. I don't have to get into I don't have to get into another battery system. This is very ergonomic. It's very lightweight. Holy smokes. And as comfortable as comfortable as this one is, as comfortable as this one is, wow is that comfortable. It's lighter weight, it's a little more compact so far as in the size of the motor, because the motor is larger on this one. I just repaired a couple of chairs and I had to drive in a couple of screws. Um, I had to uh, put in, I had to put in uh, some dowels. So I attached a, 
whatever drill bit was needed on there and I just used this and it worked perfectly. Um, I love, again, the grip angle is right where it needs to be. The grip angle is perfect on these. It's also a little slimmer in the hand, so it really feels balanced in the hand. The, the ability to switch direction is very positive, super positive. I mean, it really... Uh, you know, some people like when it fits flush. I don't like when it fits flush because it doesn't fit the hand. These are super positive stops but so far as directionality. Um, I, I hate when people say, for what it is, five, eight years ago, the torque that came out of this little thing was state of the art. Now we have, you know, these things that are insanely powerful, but four or five years ago, the power that comes out of this thing was state-of-the-art. And now what Makita has done was taken that state-of-the-art five, six years ago that everybody loved and wanted. And what they did was they stuck it in Willy Wonka's TV machine. Remember when the, the kid gets in there and he says, three, two, one, and he gets transported to the other? And it gets a little smaller and gets a little smaller. Well, that's what Makita did. They took the form factor of everybody who's in the 18-volt platform and they shrunk it down. They made these more powerful. But they took the state-of-the-art technology there and shrunk it down. And it's simply amazing. Um, again, it, it, you know... I took an inch, inch, uh, what was it, inch and an eighth paddle bit, just to beat on it, just to flog it, to see what it would do, and well, it worked fabulously. I'd never drive an inch and an eighth paddle bit with this thing, but I know I can do it, so it's amazing. And then the third thing that came in the kit was this. How astonishing is this thing? I mean, look at the reviews. Look, look, look at what people have to say. This uses, okay, the kit, the kit itself, when I get, so I'll tell you what happened. My wife goes out and buys 12 volt pools, CXT. Wonderful product line from Makita as well. But I didn't want another battery. I wanted this because it uses 18 volt batteries. Okay, it uses these 2 amp hour batteries. That's what I wanted. So I took back the CXT. Sorry, honey. Sorry. And then I picked up this kit, which was these, th these three pieces, two batteries, and a rapid charger. The system came with a rapid Makita charger. See the little RC on there? It's a rapid charger. So, me being me, I wanted everything to have a battery, so I spent the $60 on a new battery so that everything has a battery pack on it. Um, and I didn't go, I just went with the same standard 2 amp hour battery. I wanted to keep this tool just like it was, um, meant to be designed on a 2 amp hour battery with the rest of the kit, and the kit was only 150 bucks. These two with a standard charger that the drill is the hammer charger, just these two with a standard charger was like $199. I don't, it, 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 whatever hammer action that you're going to get on these little things is not, is not, not what you're going to get out of the full size, okay? And that's not what I'm looking for. But the three tools with a rapid charger and a bag. Where's the bag? There's a bag. I don't know. I don't know what it is. You know, they give you these bags. I, I'm not a real big fan of the bags. I put it in my rigid um, Pro Tool Organizer, which I'm going to need some more stuff with. But this stuff is amazing. I haven't had a chance to try this. I do like that this comes with a quick collet on there. Um, all the Solzols that I have, or the latest DeWalt that I was given, 
um, has a um, has a little can that easy that little you know easy no tool exchange. But my my big Milwaukee plug-in one and uh, uh, the big Milwaukee one is a is a you know is a uh, Allen drive. So so I'm anxious to try this out. Um, just simply amazing tool, very lightweight, very light, compact. But for 99% of the people that are out there, even in the trades, if you're an electrician, you know, if you're popping holes, you're going to be using that with a whole hog. Plain and simple. You, you're not going to be picking this. You're not going to be picking these drills up. You're you're just not. And and taking your inch inch and an eighth, inch and a half auger bit and using that all day. You're just not going to. You're going to drag a cord with your whole hog and uh, punch holes through that. But everything else, set in boxes, set in lighting cans, th this is what you need. Overhead work, so lightweight, and if you want longer run time, take the 2 amp hour battery off and put a 4 amp hour battery on it. Super lightweight, super comfortable. I can't wait to really start to use these tools. So, um, I just want to say thank you for that. On um, for that, and I was also given by my secret Santa Claus something pretty cool. You see that? You see that box right there? That yellow drill? Well, I was given a Dewalt. Now this is brushed. Looks like it's brushed. It is the model DCD 710, 12 volt. This is a neat little tool. Lightweight battery pack on this, on this little 12 volt DeWalt tool. How amazing is this little thing? You know, if we look at these, you know, obviously the Makita is way smaller. This Makita is way more powerful than this 12 volt, but what does it have over the Makita? I mean, over the Milwaukee. What does this have over the Milwaukee? Again, put those flat, and what do you see? The grip angle is wrong on this. Okay, again, flat, and you can see the difference. This is a much this is a, a really um, ergonomic, uh, uh, good ergonomics feel on this. And it's called the DCD 710. It's a, it's a 12 volt, two speed, okay, thingamajig. Uh, the thing that, that the Makita beats over it is the change of direction. So you have to really kind of manipulate that. Where on the Makita, okay, it's very simple. Very to hit the center point, and it's very easy to do that. This, not so much. Okay, you got to really push it because it goes in flush. People think that we like the flush. I don't like flush. Okay, it's not as as to use in the operator. Uh, um, uh, space, it's, it's, you know, it's not, it's not, uh, high speed enough. You know, the tactical guys say, I'm high speed, you know, I'm high speed to the dinner table. Okay. So that's one of the things that I don't like about this drill. Um, the fact that it's a brushed motor. Okay. I, hey, I'm perfect, but it's lightweight. It's ergonomically pleasing to me. The chuck itself is plastic. I don't care about that. Um, the fact that it, um, the run out on it is pretty horrific. I do like the fact that this is a ratcheting, um, the run out on that thing is awful. So what do I mean by run out is if you were to look at this, let me see if I can hold this as flat as I can. Take a look at the metal part as I spin this drill. You really can't see it too well. I, I can't hold it. I can't. I can feel it. Okay. 
and if you were, if if I had it on the table, you could see that the run out on this thing is, is not poor, but it, it's not as good as the Makita. Um, I do like on the collet on here, I do like the clutch. Um, that's one thing on the Makita that I don't like on the drill, because if you look, see how the ring is here? So in order to change this, this light, okay, it's kind of in the way. Where this has a little broader thing. What it does for you is this, com the reason why they did it in this way is it shrinks the head down. This just makes this a little longer, that's all. If this were, if this were a brushless motor, it would probably... You know, it would probably, the back would probably start here, but because it's a brushed motor, um, you know, it is what it is. It's well balanced. I like the tool. Um, and again, uh, the only net picky thing is, is the directional uh, change of this. I can't wait to really kind of try it out and all that kind of fun stuff. But this is neat. This is a really interesting tool for me. I kind of like this. I'm not a real big DeWalt guy. Um... It's an inexpensive tool, but it it feels a little better than the Milwaukee does. Meaning that the trigger itself is a little more progressive. It's a little thinner. Okay. One of the issues that I have with this with this Milwaukee is this trigger is so fat that I want to be able to wrap my finger around the trigger where I kind of have to spin this a little more. Again, it's all about what you feel in the tool itself. And so far as the wall, the wall, you know, those guys spend a ton of money in R and D. But this is kind of an interesting, interesting little thing I'm going to put in, in the tool bag. And lastly, which really excites me a lot, is this. Oh, and the other thing. This comes with two batteries. I mean, really? It's pretty awesome. And it will do the 12 and the 20 volt. So if you have a 20 volt system, this charger will work with that. Pretty smart, DeWalt. Pretty smart. So what else do we have here? Well, this is a T-Stack system. So the T-Stack system... Uh, if you guys know, if you've seen any of my videos, uh, I am a huge, uh, hugely invested in the uh, Rigid Pro Tool Organizer. Love that thing. I will not give it up. It is a wonderful system. It is very robust. It is about the right size. The problem I have with the problem I have with it is Rigid made the boxes the right depth and dimensional size. The problem I have with the uh, packout system from uh, Milwaukee is that the boxes are too big. You can put too much stuff in a single box. So it makes it a little more gangly to kind of carry around where you can't fit as much into the rigid system so it forces you to take down well how many tape measures do I need do I need six no okay so I take it down to two do I need four hammers no I don't need four hammers but you can with a lot of with a lot of that Milwaukee system and it's uh, it's a very robust system I, I don't like uh, there's a couple things I don't like about it but that's um, it's, it's again my own preference but what DeWalt does, this happens to be the T-Stack system, okay? So, one thing Black & Decker does, I think, better than any other company. And I'm talking about Rigid. I'm talking about Milwaukee. I'm talking about uh, Husky. Uh, I'm talking about Festool Sustainers. The thing that Black & Decker does so I think better than anybody else is organization. 
I can't imagine how much money DeWalt spends on R&D for your ability to uh, store things in their own places. Um, I have four or five cases of just stuff to put bits, to put drill bits in, to put screw bits in, and all that kind of stuff. This system, which is the base unit, okay, okay it has the wheel and all that kind of fun stuff and the handle that goes up, okay, is the things that you can put on here are pull-out drawers. How awesome is that? Nobody does that. I watched a video earlier today of a guy because I didn't know how I would actually integrate this into my system. And because I have a couple of um, a rigid 10-compartment uh, um, organizers that hold my fasteners and stuff, is wh what? how is this actually going to work for me? What am I going to use this for? So I think what I'm going to do is this is going to be strictly for corded tools. And all the corded tools that I have in the rigid will actually come out of there and um, that will free up some space and all the corded tools, all the, the corded circular saws, my whole hog, um, uh, uh, my bulldog, all of those, all of those uh, corded tools will go in the base of here. Now, what I'm going to do with this system is I'm going to organize all of those little bits, the pencils, uh, the fasteners that I don't use all the time. And I'm going to stack this up with those drawers and to be able to take those specialty tools that I don't use all the time, like the stuff that I use for uh, audio video data, uh, stuff to put like... Um, uh, coax connectors on lines, RJ45 um, connectors for data, um, uh, you know, like uh, electrical meters. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't do siding every day, so they have special snips for that. that this system is going to be built out for that. The cool thing about this is, is that you can, t you can take these little, there's a little uh, T-stat. Thing on the front here is lightweight too. Okay, you can put little name tags on there, so it's really cool. It's on here by these little tabs uh, that clip on to the other things. I have to look and see what we are. But this is exciting. This is an exciting thing. Um, the other thing that's really cool that I think DeWalt did amazing. Again, I love my rigid toolbox. I beat it. I have run it through all kinds of stuff. It is super stable. I love it. But the problem I have is twofold. I haven't seen it on this one as of yet, but I think they fixed the issue that I have with the rigid. You see how the handle is offset? Can you see that? You see how that's offset? Okay? So that when you pull this up and you have other stuff in here, your hand is back. Okay? So as these boxes come up, the problem I have with the rigid is the handle is straight up. It's, it goes straight. There's no offset. See how this offset works here? It pulls your hand back from the stack. Now, again, not used this. Um, all of these things have to have some sort of give into them or they or they won't work. So this system works. I think it's pretty neat. I'm very excited to use it and very excited to you know build this out. The other thing that I think DeWalt did better than anybody with this system. Better than anybody in the whole pack out and all that stuff. If you look at the rigid toolbox, the bottom box that has the wheels, in order to get the top off of it, there are two big clips on either side. You pull that, and then the whole lid comes off. You have the whole lid in your hand. I never have really kind of liked that too much, 
But I'll tell you what DeWalt did with this system that I think is better. So as I go to open this up, pay attention to this. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to lift this. You see that? They put the fulcrum on the lid. <laughs> Dudes are smart. How much money do you think Black & Decker spent with engineers and prototyping and all of that to come up with a design like that? I can't even imagine how much money they kept they had to spend in order to incorporate that idea. Super smart. Where everybody else is looking at, you know, we'll just take the lid off or we'll put the hinges on the side. We won't make an active handle like that. Super smart. So I'm kind of anxious to try this out. Very anxious to try this out. Um, this unit then also comes with a, a tool, you know, caddy on the inside. Um, one thing I don't like about this, I will, okay, the hands, here, let me hang on. So we're into, I'm into three or four projects here. Okay, this just happens to be, all of this just happens to be this rigid organizer, okay? But let me show you the difference here. Let me get a little closer, just a little bit more closer. All right, you guys good? All right, so let's bring you in here. All right, is that better? Is that better? Okay. So, um, rigid tool system, it's all the same, okay? What you have are these bales, okay? Can you see that bale? Now, the cool thing about this system is, is if you move it, it will deploy this every single time. I don't know if it's that band. I don't know what type of voodoo engineering that they do. But it opens up every time. You slap those and you're open. You don't need to touch it again. And it is almost just a finger tight as you go down, you know. Super duper simple. Awesome. The problem I have with this is this is a stamped piece of steel. I don't know of its durability. I'm not sure how its durability is going to be. I don't know. But the problem I have with this is very tough to open up. It's kind of, it's, it's, I don't know. Um, to open it and close it is very difficult. Okay, it holds it down. Is there a gasket? I don't even know if there's a... Okay. Alright, I'm not a fan of that. Um, there is no gasket on here, so there is no IPC rating for dust or for ingress of water or anything like that. I really don't care because this lid comes over it. There's a little plastic barrier that's here. Uh, my, my tools get dirty. Whether or not I got to roll them in the rain, I, I don't really care. It, if if these go underwater, I don't care if you have Makita, Milwaukee, Festal, Rigid, Husky, uh, you know, Pack Out. I don't care what you have. They're going if they submerge your stuff's getting wet so it's kind of neat i kind of like it i'm excited what's this labels so you can label the front of that thing very cool i am very excited uh to have this uh and i'm very excited about this little 12 volt little fun drill i'm excited about that so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that Milwaukee, that Milwaukee stuff yet. Oh, jeez. I do not like those. I do not like those Sam I am. I do not like them. 
but so that's where we are so we're gonna have a whole bunch of reviews coming up on this system on these little on these little makita drills man these things are fun uh i think the next one's gonna be on this behemoth okay this this is many things light is not one of them this is a big boy this is a big boy so that's a big boy so i won't drone anymore but um so we'll get into this dewalt t-stat box we'll get into the big boy we'll get into also the um the subcompact this is really fun stuff so um I'm hoping that you guys will have a very prosperous new year. Hopefully your Christmas went well. Um, we'll have a lot of work here to do on these things. So, from my family to yours, have a blessed, happy, prosperous new year. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you around. Thanks. Bye-bye.